One last, last one. <laughs> last one, okay. Hemos hablado con muchos palestinos que son activistas pacifistas y que han sido detenidos, acosados por colonos y por el ejército israelí y no son yihadistas. ¿Qué opinas sobre esto? We've spoken with uh, some Palestinian activists that are non-violent and they have been beaten and detained by settlers and also by Israeli soldiers. Why do you think is that? Because they're not jihadists, nor violence. Uh, uh, I don't know what, the, what, what really happened there. And, you know, your, your story may be true or it may be just another part of lies. You know, in, in war, people lie and they tell you that they're <clears throat> pacifists, but they're actually the front of the jihad. You know, the jihad has many faces. Sometimes it talks about <clears throat> rights inequalities and we're non-violent and then in Arabic they say we will destroy Israel so in, in this region you have to be a little bit you have to open your eyes and see that the jihad has many faces it's like two sides of the same coin one one side is uh, is um, uh, violent and the other one is uh, you know speaks to the European type uh, language that you're speaking of pacifist and and non-violent and and that's to win over uh, those elements And um, that, that alliance that of, the, of the European progressives and the jihadists is destroying the world and is destroying uh, uh, Europe as well. Europe is in a lot of trouble, in our, in our, from what I understand from here. Not that it's my problem, that's your problem. But what I understand is that uh, there's, there's a lot of problems there. And I've been to Holland and I've, I've been to, to France and I've been to England and I've seen the situation there and it's indeed uh, very dangerous. So, you know, you could keep falling for the lies that they tell you oh we just want you know we just want equalities and we just want rights and we're pacifists and all that kind of stuff but then they slowly take over your country um and i think that that it's time to open up the eyes and to see what's really happening in this world and to understand that the jihad is smart and it uses all kinds of tools at its disposal um i want to take a moment just to also mention that your name is sarah Right? That's a great name. Uh, the first Sarah in Jewish history, in biblical history, is buried right here. And I think that, that coming here for a person like yourself is an opportunity to connect with the history of mankind, with the heritage of mankind. We protect it. We keep it open to all peoples. Uh, when it's under jihad, uh, no peoples can visit it except for theirs. And when we are in control of it, it opens up. And it's an opportunity for you to connect to something really deep and wholesome. We, the Jewish people and the Arabs, will work it out without European interference. The Arabs are 400 million. The Jews here are 7 million. They don't really need your help. I just want you to know that. They'll work it out with us. We are cousins. We've got the same father. We've got the same genes. We've got a similar language. We'll work it out. You'll see. We'll be okay. You guys go ahead now and go deal with your problems. Uh, maybe I should send an Israeli film crew to talk about the problems in Spain. No, because I, I let you deal with your problems and we're going to be okay here. The Arabs are going to be okay, I promise you. They're going to be alright. They're strong, they're smart, they're our cousins. They're going to work it out with the tiny Jewish state in their midst. And inshallah, with the help of God, Bezrat Hashem, as we say, everything is going to be fine. And Israel will get through this tough time. We'll continue to survive and thrive. This is our homeland. We lived here, we're gonna, we're, we are living here, and we're going to live here. And nobody's going to kick us out of here.